Hello, my fellow individuals. I'm Mr. Mini Mask Man here, and today I'm going to react to Ghost in the Shell official trailer this time. Now, I'll say if you haven't seen the trailer yet, then please watch it on the original link down below in the description box. Alright, so I remember when I talked about the teaser trailer that I uh, reacted to on that one. I wasn't fully sure how I felt about it yet, but I guess now I'm going to see. So, yeah, I'm just going to see. You know what? Uh, oh, yeah, before that, I'd like to apologize for the last video for calling Motoko Lieutenant Motoko instead of Major Motoko. So, yeah, my bad on that. My bad on that one. So it's Major Motoko. Um, but then again, like I said, Ghost in the Shell is one of the ones that I can't fully remember a lot of the characters' names, uh, the main plot or settings, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, just not like that in my mind, so I'll be, I'll be mispronouncing anything, I'll probably forget a bunch of, bunch of things, so I, it's one of those things I might have to rewatch, act to be honest with you, but I do remember just a few here and there things, I know it's more futuristic, kind of what, cyberpunkish theme, with the, um, the whole, I guess, was it, transfer your mind or your brains into into technology in that time, for that time period is what you do, you can transfer your mind to technology and prosthetics, especially prosthetic bodies, which Major Motoko has, so, now the only problem with that, when I saw the problems with the, with the criminals or terrorists that they go against, especially, are the hackers, the hack into, especially if you're full on prosthetics, you're pretty much screwed, they can hack into you and take control of your body and do what they want with it. So, and I know the main villain, at least from the Ghost in the Shell series that I've seen, because I know there's different, at least from what I remember, there's like different ones. So the one that I've seen was uh, the Laughing Man, was like the main one. They had to go deal with them, and I think it was one uh, terrorist group. So it was like two separate things. But, but anyways, hey, um, yeah, let's just see. You know what, I'll, I'll talk more. Let's just see right now, and then I'll see what I can discuss on that. So without further ado, let's watch it right now. Yeah, it's creepy. <laughs> this is Major. I'm on site. Huh? Damn. I'm going in. Oh, they really, man, they really went with that. Nice. Bad, okay. You are the first of your kind. They are not invulnerable. Maybe next time you can design me better. Everyone around me, they feel connected to something. Connected hmm. to something I'm not. It's interesting. Where are you? Saved you, and now you save others. Damn, nice. Oh, the one with the eyes. I don't know who to trust. Oh, I got his name. Wait, I know. You know, I had a past. Everything they told you was a lie. Who are you? A laughing man? They did not save your life. They stole it. I'm impressed. Huh. You know what? Yeah. I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see it. I didn't think I'd say that. I might. Usually I was expected to be like. 
I had a discussion before this reaction. I did one for the Fullman Alchemist live live one, uh, official trailer for the live action one, and I was discussing how you know majority of anime adapted films. To be honest, kind of a miss, like with Dragon Ball and The Last Airbender, for example. Especially ones in Hollywood that they've done, you know, compared to the ones in Japan. But this one, though, this actually doesn't look bad at all. Huh. Can you believe it? Even if, even if, um, sorry, my eyes, um, even if you never seen the anime, I think it'll still be entertaining. Wow. I mean, I know kind of this time, but I'm just... I honestly didn't expect it to be... To catch my attention there that much. But... I'm impressed, I'll be honest. I actually am. So... Yeah. I want to see it. I actually want to see it. <laughs> now I def... Oh, God, I forgot the character saying the one with... With the eyes there, also the prosthetics there. Um, so it's pretty cool that he and that he's in that one too. I think the last person I was talking was the Laughing Man. I, I assume. I think they're going with the Laughing Man, for what I heard as the uh, the antagonist or the main villain there. So, huh? But it looks it looks pretty tight the way they've you know the the, the setting, uh, the city and all that. And it's pretty cool that they went with that, almost like that close, really close enough to Major Motoko's little tight suit, like in the uh, in the anime. I know the anime is a little bit different, like she has a jacket and all that. Now, the only not really concern, but the only thing I'm thinking is just the the personality, because you know Major Motoko is a little more just straightforward and more, you know, um, kind of comes off strong and all that. You know, just very, acts like a true major, acts, and so forth. But with Scarlett Johansson, it felt, I, that's, what, that's what I was worried about in the original trailer for Scarlett Johansson's casting, is just for, can she pull that role off as being that tough, you know, leader, you know, character. But in this one, this is more like just this, um, just seems more like, you know, trying to find her identity, or how... She became who she is. How she lost her body, which I I, I vaguely remember. I, I don't know if she was in an accident or something where they had no choice but to transfer her, her uh, her mind and all that to a prosthetic. But I know I remember it was something like that happened. Like I said, I gotta watch the anime again. I I honestly can't. I, I can't fully remember that much of Ghost in the Shell, but but um. So yeah, I guess it's more just that plot. Of just her trying to find who she is, and then the person that she's dealing with somehow relates to how everything functions and where she, and where they live in this time, and the kind of things that they have to live with of their present time, which is futuristic and all that, and how these mind transfers, prosthetics work, and how the laughing man is trying to prove a point by doing all these hacks and all that, so. Yeah, so you know, I, I actually have confidence that this one actually might turn out well. You know, maybe not like perfect and stuff like. Like for example, um, I I think it'll turn out be one of the few only good ones for for an anime adapted live action film. Maybe not as a film. I would say it'd be something entertaining. Not like the best out there and all that, but just something entertaining to watch at least once. If it if it's has, if it has good action scenes, like maybe twice. Depending. Once or twice, I kind of see it like that as, as a good entertainment. I don't think it'll be... A, I, from the trailer, I'm, I don't think it'll be a waste of time as long as they don't screw up uh, like the pacing and the story and not too many plot holes and all that. As long as they get it right it should be a good film 
at least for entertainment, it wouldn't feel like a waste of time, I would say. I'm just hoping they didn't put all the good parts in the trailer and then everything else is kind of like feels bland or empty, you know? But I feel that this one actually won't be bad at all. I, I hope so. I'm judging just for the trailer, obviously. Sometimes, you know, they could fool us with that, but I actually feel a little bit confident this might turn out well. This will be, like I said, again, one of the best anime-adapted films, especially if it's Hollywood-made. Especially for that, you know, instead of, you know, ones in Japan, which I know Japan will, for when they do their anime films, they really try their best more with their source material. And they do it, you know, it's a more different direction how they do their films there. So if they do well in this... They better do more better, uh, you know, live-action anime films from this point on if they're going to do it. Then they have no excuses anymore to go back to the original route and make it very terrible ones like The Last Airbender or Dragon Ball, which, again, we don't talk about. <laughs> so, that, so this should be... I think this will be good, personally. Like I said, not... Maybe not mind-blowing or the best out there, but I think... I think it'll be good, you know? For for a live animated, or for an adapted live anime, uh, anime based, you know, film, I think they'll do well, at least from what I'm getting. So, <laughs> I like I said, it actually kind of surprised me. I'm a little bit like I can't really say more beyond this, but I'm just I was a little shocked, but in the good way. I'm impressed actually. Honestly, I didn't expect not like terrible but unexpected for me to to engage that much i thought it would have been because of the teaser it felt different i felt like mm, you know you you know for if you saw that i was kind of iffy like very iffy but i but i said i wanted to hold it to see an official trailer to give my final verdict just on trailer wise not film wise if i want to see it or not if it's worth going to theaters but i think this one yeah i think this one might so, and I know, uh, oh boy, uh, I don't know, my, I have a family member that really loves Scarlett Johansson. If he sees her in this trailer, he's going to say, we got to see this film. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah. So, yeah, I actually, I actually can't wait. So if there's a second trailer, I hope they don't reveal too much because I think this is almost good enough. So I don't want to get all the good parts in the trailer, you know. But, oh well, it is what it is, so, can't wait. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't, I can't wait for this one, for sure. <laughs> but, I think that's all I gotta say, uh, for now, at least. So, anyways, if you like my video, you know what to do, <laughs> of course. And, like I say to everyone here, I hope you guys have a nice day.